puny contingent of their soldiers has been captured here on Kilra. This incursion was an act of desperation. The hell escapes now flail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. Only one of them is worthy of being treated as a warrior. The one they call Angel. Still defiant, Janotero. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilrati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. in peace. Peace. Have we ever known anything like that, Paladin? Not for a long time, Laddie. First the tiger's claw, now this. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Any word from Angel? None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS Victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that... The Victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini.
What I'm trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Well, neither is a Concordia anymore. Yeah, terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Roganar Hollis on your crew. Hollis? Oh. Was... Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. Hmm. Well, well. <laughs> if it isn't the Colonel. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I couldn't make your welcoming party. Well, I guess you had more pressing maneuvers to undertake, maniac. When duty calls, I'm there. Women like the smell of success. Uh-huh. You know, I'm surprised you haven't been blown out of the sky by now, maniac. Uh, by friendly fire. Some people appreciate my flying style. I do what's necessary to win, okay? Suppose you're still flying with one eye on the regs manual? I don't take stupid risks. Yeah, speaking of stupid, I also heard you put Hobbs back on the flight roster. <laughs> my, my. Word travels fast on this time. Never understood what you saw in that cat. 
Simple. I need a wingman I can count on. You can't trust someone who will kill their own kind. Who I choose as my wingman is my prerogative. It's a privilege of rank. I'll bet you stay up late nights just polishing it, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I have majors who do that for me. The difference in our rank is a formality. We both know who's better in the cockpit. Yeah, we do. Welcome aboard, old friend. You're looking fine and fit. <laughs> Does this war agree with you? Yeah, yeah, like a pair of busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. <sighs> and how is the fine pilot and comrade Angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for Tallwind. But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested... Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well, there are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah, but when my life's on the line, I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. <laughs> Ah, come in, Colonel. Time to put that reputation of yours to the test. Confed intelligence tells us that the Karathi presence is growing here in the Osini system. You and your wingman are to fly routine patrol of these three zones, sweep the area of any hostiles you may encounter. Understood? Completely, sir. Chief Tech Rachel Coriolis, welcome to the victory, Colonel. I heard you're flying with Hobbs on this one. Hey, you got a problem with that, Chief? No, sir, not at all. I think it's about time that cat's one hell of a pilot. Here she is, one Hellcat 5. She's prepped, primed, loaded, locked, and ready to kick some ass. Thanks. What about ordnance? It's all taken care of. The captain downloads the mission specs to me. I dope out the weapons requirements, so you're set to go. Uh, oh, yeah? In the future, Colonel, you have the option of choosing your own weapons. Or you can trust my judgment and fly with my default loadout. I promise, Colonel, never to disappoint. I'm very sorry, old friend. I let you down. Sure as hell wasn't all your fault. I must say, it certainly felt good to be back out there again. My gratitude for your trust in me is endless. Ah, eh, forget it, Hobbs. You're back where you belong now. going around with me. 
Bet you a week's pay on one hand. Thank you. No. Welcome aboard, sir. You want to play a hand? Now, since you're the rookie on this boat, I'll let you call the game. <sighs> Not much for protocol, are you? No. Formalities tend to be forgotten when you spend most of your time just trying to survive. With little spare time we do have, we fill up with other things besides practicing our salutes. Well, I guess you have to adapt to your surroundings. Don't I know that? It's an art, really. No wonder they call you Vagabond. Been doing your homework, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've knocked around some. And yet your combat file is surprisingly brief. What's with the big gaps in your bio? Can I help it if Confed decides to blank my data? Sometimes HQ is as big a mystery to me as the enemy. We got a lot of good people here, Colonel. Even those of us with incomplete bios. Just give us a chance. we talk, Lieutenant. Ain't much to talk about, sir. You should have known better than to fly with it. If you're referring to Hobbs... I can't fly with him, sir. If you stay on this ship, you'll have to sooner or later. Don't put me in a position of having to defend him. I won't do it. Why? Let's just say I'm hardwired that way. And nothing you do is gonna change that. Look, I'll try and keep you two separate on offensive assignments. I'm not asking for special favors. We need every good pilot we've got. And just so you know, I'd trust Hobbs with my life. That's your choice. Hello, mon ami. I hope the fight goes well for you and all the others on the Concordia. I'm about to set up for a covert operation with Admiral Tolwyn. So I'm afraid we might be apart a little longer. But always remember, just them. I love you. Hey, Colonel. Hey. Pull up a chair. Oh, nice to you. Let me know if I'm out of line here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new Excaliburs. Is that true? Oh, Commander, doesn't tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some priest that won't let me touch his equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Machines don't lie. Not as much as people do, anyway. Should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Chief? Mm -hmm. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Confed civilian transport ship is moving through the Ocini area. She's going to need an escort, especially since Intel reports that Karathia testing a new cloaked missile. Confed has codenamed these new weapons skippers because they apparently skip in and out of cloak every few seconds to maintain contact with the target. Now you can see them one second, then they're gone the next. There are a lot of civilian lives at stake here, girl. I'll do my best, Captain. I'm sure you will.
Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Sir? They call you Flint, right? So you have looked at the flight roster. Are you making a request, Lieutenant? Sir, I come from a long line of fighter pilots. My brother, my father, his father before him. I guess you could say it's in my blood. Your point being? I know your record. I would have at least expected you to take a look at the victories. We've racked up our share of kills. We're not scrubs out here. <laughs> Nobody said you were. I suppose you're afraid I'll peel off the first time we engage. What about the 20th time or the 30th? Will you fatigue even a split second or get a twitchy finger? The wingman I fly with, I need guarantees. Respectfully, sir, if you only fly when there are guarantees, you won't be flying much. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, I wouldn't presume to do your job for you, sir. I just work here. <laughs> the bridge, Confed's expecting my tech debriefing. I caught some of the incoming radio, Major. How long have you carried that flash handle? Since my first day at Academy. I don't think you should ever apologize for sporting a little style. That baby's still classified, folks. You think you could keep your people at bay a while, Colonel? Christopher Blair. Ah, I read about you back when I was flying with training wheels. Is it true pilots don't get older, they just get better? Only the good ones. We'll see if anyone reads about you someday. I wish they wouldn't send me these Academy hotshots. Youth and wisdom are rarely combined, Captain. It's still your ship, Captain. He answers only to Admiral Talwin. Colonel, we're under attack. Launch all fighters. Red alert, red alert, launch all fighters. Launch all fighters, this is not a drill. Now, sir. Didn't you hear that scramble alarm? Yeah, it woke me up for a minute. We were under attack, for God's sakes! My talents won't be wasted on your little skirmishes. Yeah, well, people were dying out there, you son of a bitch. It's a war. People die all the time. You've never seen it, have you? Seen what? Never seen pilots, people you know, getting fried in their own cockpit. I do my part for Confed. I've ever met anyone as frightened as you. You think what you want. I've got my orders. Yeah. And you'll find refuge in that just as long as you can. They ought to shoot that kid, you ask me. At least strap him to one of my thrusters on the next mission. 
As usual, Maniac, your solution to the problem is brainless. Well, me, I, any chance I get, I'm up in the air. I mean, they're gonna have to pry my dead carcass out of the cockpit. Oh, stop banging your chest. You're gonna bruise it. The Colonel will deal with him. Oh, look, the Colonel is a spineless... I wouldn't finish that sentence if I were you, Major. Uh, we were just speculating on when the new pilot might pull his own weight. Uh-huh. Well, one way or another, we'll find out what Flash is made of. I guarantee you that. Oh, oh, good day, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Carry on. Sorry, sir. It's Rockero from the Celeste system. <laughs> you can tell a lot about a system from its music, you know? Some places it's all minor chords. Makes you just want to run out and do a suicide mission. But this is bright. Heats your blood, makes you want to live a long life. Now, are you a pilot, Lieutenant, or a musician? Oh, I'm a pilot, sir. A pretty good one, too. Check my kill scores. But my family, they made guitars for many generations. I've got one that's almost 200 years old. The sound just keeps getting richer. Someday, I'm gonna open a cantina and bring in the best to play that guitar. Place for old fighter jacks like you and me. Well, you better line up some other customers. Might not be many of us left. Oh, yeah. It'll be open to one and all. And me, I'll just sit back, gaze at the beautiful women, and listen to the music. It's a nice dream, Piquero. Hang on to it. You bet, sir. Some of these guys, they actually like the killing. Me? I just walk away when this is all over. Let's get down to business, shall we? Ready, sir. The Karathi intentions in this area remain unclear. While we continue to gather intelligence, your task will be to corral the cats wherever possible. We wish particularly to shut off their access to the populated planets and this asteroid field. Let's try to put these Karathi raiders out of business permanently. Hmm? Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismiss. your lame excuse this time. Get off my case, old man. You'd trade places with me in a second. <laughs> that is, if Confed had a senior citizen circuit for test pilots. <laughs> Where do you learn to spew all that crap? Doesn't the academy teach kids to fly anymore? Listen, old timer, I don't have to take this from you. I think it's time to teach you a lesson. Meet me at the simulator at 0900 and we'll see who knows how to fly. Combat simulators don't prove anything. The only thing that really counts is out there against the Kalorathi. Then I guess we'll never know, will we, Colonel? Colonel, you know the Kiorathi may be using bioweapons here. First time I've heard of it. Kiorathi has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorathi? It doesn't matter if you believe me. Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story.
this forever? Forever isn't long enough. I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilrathi had other plans. I'm sorry. That's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. You haven't been back since? Mm -mm. Well, which one was home? Uh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing, different serenades depending on how close the moons were. Yeah. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Flint, when you fly, are you gonna be my wingman or your brother's wingman? Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've still got more questions than answers on uh, Karathi operations here. Some of the Karathi forces are pulling out, other elements are closing in on the Condo 4. Intel thinks they've got warheads tipped with a new kind of bioweapon capable of spreading a pandemic over the whole planet within minutes. If Intel's correct, the half-life of this virus is over 500 years. Colonel. We can't let a single warhead slip through and strike the planet. If the warheads bile, the civilians of Lakanda 4 will... Well, they'll die slow deaths from a ravaging disease, and all we'll be able to do is pull out of here as fast as we can. Good luck, son.
You might have died out there chasing after me. I might have. Well, I guess the captain ordered you. No. That was my call to make. Well, then I guess I should be impressed. I've never been very good at saying thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I want you to understand. We don't fly suicide missions. We fight this war to live, not to die. You've got to fly with your head, Flint, not your heart. You've never done that, sir, fly with your heart. The day I do that, I expect a stiff dressing down, mister. That's an order. Sir, my father didn't read his children bedtime stories. He read to us from the regs manuals. I know there are certain actions necessary. If every pilot pursues a private war, the Kalrathi triumph. Until further notice, you're grounded. I used to raid these planets. Yeah, I know. It puzzles me, these reports that the Kalrathi are surrendering the system. Surrender. Though I know the word in your language, I still fail in truly grasping it. I cannot guess at all what my one-time comrades might do. And Kilrathi are most dangerous when they are unpredictable. Colonel. Part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive. Move. You need to kneel every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. God, I love that boy, Spunk. Objectives accomplished. Colonel, uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Um, Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fellow see, and he went out one day and saw his wingman get fried. Started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. 
Yeah, hit a jump point just as the Kirathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? I had someone, too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely. But I kept thinking, one way or another, I'd hear. I haven't. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. Yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> About time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorath is waiting to die in my hands. Well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. We're gonna kick some ass here. Colonel, good to see you. You're flying high today. Well, word is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horns, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. Good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. <laughs> Listen up, Colonel. You see these Karathi fighters that have suddenly left the main flock? I think they figured out where the jump point is, and they plan on getting out of the nebula radio shroud to sound off about it to the main fleet command. You are to stop every last one of them from getting out and being able to send a clear trans. Good luck, Colonel. You made some nice moves on that last mission. Of course, one can only tell so much from aboard ship. Look, I know it's been hard on you sitting on the sidelines. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. Look, sir, what I've been trying to say is that I exist to do one thing, fly. I'm requesting reinstatement on the flight roster, sir. Cheerleading from down here is not my specialty. You know, you're right. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> not all of us maneuver at warp speed, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me guess, you're an RV, right? RV, sir? <laughs> Recon version, first time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Well, enemy lines are just squiggles drawn on a map, Vaccaro. They don't mean squad otherwise. Don't worry about it. Ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. Packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathi are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, okay? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel.
targeted enemy craft colonel. objectives accomplished. to find another jump point outside the nebula where our masking techniques cannot function. That's more. <clears throat> we learned only after it was too late. The heart of the tiger was one of the carrier's protectors. The Emperor must not know of the success of this Terran incursion. My thoughts exactly, my liege. The Emperor, of course, must stay focused on the larger picture, our ultimate trial. Which the heart of the tiger continues to jeopardize. I have waited many, many years, and now it is time. The trigger. An excellent plan, my liege. Prepare to send the message. Why didn't you warn us that your kind could close jump points? Lieutenant, I do not believe our shared enemy closed the jump point. Hey, I wasn't hallucinating when it went off my screen. Our esteemed captain has theorized that the enemy cloaked the jump point. You know the aerial system like the back of your paw. And you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us? No more than you, Lieutenant. You're a liar. Lieutenant! Excuse me. Colonel Hobbs' loyalty is not to be questioned again. Is that understood? Colonel Blair, report to the bridge on the double. What's going on? All our comm systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant. Don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus, or should I say worm. Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We will scoop out your brains. That ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy and clownish baboons for baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Gilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. 
Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! <laughs> Kerasi believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. You know, my father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. Hmm. I'll bet he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked... You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. Rollins. You know, that'd be the maid around here. Honor and a privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sir. Ah, well, they look like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. But there are no legends aboard this ship, just pilots trying to get the job done. Well, I'm not sure such modesty becomes you, Colonel. Let's see if we can add to the legend. Hmm? Oh, I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. Welcome, Colonel. As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked superconducting energy amplification conduits, focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain even a planet. He would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why, Admiral? Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are... Well, how can I put this? Uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here where the shields are thin. There's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you, I understand, thank you. Well, the download is complete. 
We have arrived at Togo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel, this is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. Well, it's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights, too. <laughs> Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. You know, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would read the galaxy of Kiorathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy, Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was 10. Who, the Kilrathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. <sighs> must have been. You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guys spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me, and I can't get it out. One day, there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. Ah. Our local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look. I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> well, I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe?
There's been a change of command, Colonel. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? Well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I've decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? Cover me while I fire the behemoth. That sounds simple enough, Admiral. Many years since I have been this near to Kira. I'd understand if you had mixed feelings about the behemoth and what it's about to do. It has been a long war that has turned all of us inside out. There will be Kilrathi that survive, and when the war is over, they'll understand what you did. No one ever will truly understand what I did. But your loyalty has meant much to me. My friend. Looks like Tolwyn's about to steamroll around another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Want to buy a ticket, sir? To what? Opening night party of my cantina. People are saying the war's almost over. Once we pull the trigger on that bohemian thing, it'll be hasta la vista, los gatos. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. The war's everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. First time I've been like that since. I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They can promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. That first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. This is it, Colonel. I've been waiting 10 years for this glorious moment. We're about to hit the jump point. From there, it's straight to Kilra. Protect the behemoth at all costs. 
the future of the Confederation depends on it. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. You have slain many of my finest fighters during your career. You have earned this. and land now, you'll be left behind. Returning command of the victory to you, Captain. Yes, sir. They knew where we were going and when. They knew exactly where to strike. I have every reason to suspect you have a leaky ship, Captain. Respectfully, sir. I resent such innuendos concerning my crew's loyalty. Battles are won or lost. There are never any guarantees. And at the time, she was your ship, sir. Fight well, Captain. The struggle will only get harder.
You look like you could use some anesthetic. You know, it's kind of spooky the way the Kilrathu zeroed in on that soft spot. I guess uh, the Rock Cap zoomed in on yours, too. I feel for you, Colonel. Do you want some company? Company? Yeah. Just better put that away before I put it away. Hey. Kick in a bulkhead or something. Get it out somehow, okay? Don't wait till you get in the cockpit. Red alert! Red alert! All pilots up! We are being attacked! This is not a... Sweeted enemy craft, Colonel. Breaking attack! Engaging enemy now! I know it gets hairy out there, Colonel, but the victory is the last one on the list for receiving new equipment. Next time, try and bring your aircraft back with you. Hmm? Yes, sir. The ship's sensors could track movement in every compartment, right? Well, yeah. I guess, yeah, supposedly, I guess that's possible. Um, I'd have to do some fancy bite surgery. Then do it. Make that paranoia of yours pay off for once. That would be a change for the lieutenant. You want to fill me in? Yeah, those crazy coded transmissions are still being sent, sir. Cobra here, she thinks Hob. I know what Cobra thinks. Sir, they were waiting for the behemoth. They know what we're going to do even before we do. And I can't believe you're still sympathetic towards a Kirathi, not after. Look, I'll admit it. It seems like we've been having more than just a little bad luck lately. Now, I want you to keep working on those decodes. Yes, sir. And Hobbs, sir? Right now, I'd say none of us is above suspicion. All the fun. I wish I'd been there. I'm tired of flying a desk. I hear you had a little run in with uh, Thrakath. Yes, I did. You son of a bitch. It pains me that you had to find out that way. How long have you known? Oh. Since the Concordia went down. You haven't lost your touch. Oh, Vespus. He stood there and lied to me. I was under orders, laddie. All those missions we flew together, you on my wing protecting me? I was protecting you by not telling you. Did you see what your Nelly did when you found out? I was protecting you from yourself. You know how much she meant to me. I do. But this is war, laddie. All of us have lost someone dear to us. That does not make you special. 
Yeah. I've heard that before. Besides, Angel may yet help us win this thing. She sent one final transmission before she was taken prisoner on Kilra. I think you may be interested to hear it. I'll wait for you in the briefing room. Got a lot to cover. The behemoth was not the only rabbit in uh, Confed's hat. We in Covert had our own long shot project. It became much more of a reality once Angel got to kill Ram. Angel carried with her an impressive scientific package. Part of it she placed in orbit around the Kilrahi homeworld, other parts were seeded at ground level. All are cloaked and send their low-level signals to a commsat parked just outside the Kilra system, which feeds the data to us. Angel may be gone, but our work continues, laddie. Now, it turns out that the Kilra homeworld is a pretty fragile place layered with active fault lines. Its tectonic plates keep shuffling themselves like a deck of cards. Now, it's my guess but the heavy seismic activity is what propelled the Kilrahi into becoming such an aggressive space-faring race. So Kilrath has an Achilles heel. Now, over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembler bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation could achieve the proper resonant frequency and trigger a tectonic reaction that would literally shake their planet apart. But even if we could destroy their home world, they got an entire army deployed. Their entire culture is based on a strict, centralized hierarchy. All roads lead to Kilra. Every Kilrahi lives and dies for the Emperor. Destroy that hierarchy, and you destroy them. So, what are we waiting for? Uh, well, we have one problem. There's no bomb. A year ago, Dr. Severin, the man in charge of this project, was captured by the Kilrahi. They've tried putting the pieces together without him, but ended up with a zip. And now we have to go and get him. Well, it beats waiting for the Kilrahi to parole him. What? We gotta go after this guy on a prison planet? The only chance we've got at finishing up the T-bomb. Let's get down to the mission specifics. The prison planet is Alcor 5. We'll enter the system through the back door under normal drive. Colonel, I want you to scout ahead, clear the asteroid field, and make sure we are not detected. You got it, Gladdy? Yes, sir. Grapevine's really been humming. Everyone knows we're getting Dr. Severin. Or Dr. Death, as he's known to some of his old friends. You know him? Yeah. We go back, Sevi and I. Now, you asked me, the Kilrathi did the right thing locking him up. Why do I get the feeling this has to do with your classified past? Look, you know I haven't always been a pilot. 
You ever hear about Pack 7 Yeah. A lot of people got killed. Uh, it was an accident of some sort. Millions got killed. And it was no accident. Just one of old Doc Sevy's demolitions tests. I was working for him back then. I'm certain he knew exactly what was going to happen. But he saw no reason to warn the civilians. Afterwards, Confed tried to cover it up. <laughs> but who really cared, anyway? The Paxons were just the backwards people who had nothing to offer the war effort. That's when I quit demolitions. In the cockpit, I can see the enemy. They line right up in my gun sights, and I can... And the pilots I shoot down sure ain't civilians. But if there's a hell to go to, I know they've got a special place reserved for me. And Sevi. Maybe there's a little redemption possible. If we get this guy, and he helps us win the war. <sighs> Talk about ironies. decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembler bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation will achieve the proper resonant frequency. All this time, he's had us bugged. We have to get it to the infirmary. No, get Hobbs. You still have time. That's a negative, Colonel. We're almost Alcor 5. Any pursuit now will jeopardize the entire operation. Clearance, TCS Victory. I suppose you expect to be congratulated for terminating Hobbs. What you deserve is a court martial, mister, for disobeying my orders. The Victory was ambushed while you were on your little joyride. You're cleared to land. Report to me in the barracks. Any idea how much I hate this little ritual? Now I have to compose a letter to the Carol's parents. It's supposed to make them feel proud of their son. I have written too many DEF comms. I suppose they'll want this. Damn it, man, you put your own needs above that of the ships. You can't ever do that. All right, the death con. What happened with Hobbs, Captain? When you have an answer to that, Colonel, you let me know. In any event, we have to move quickly now, because there's no telling how much the Karathi already know. My admiration for you compels me to provide an explanation for my actions. You must understand that the Hobbs you knew was a construct, the result of an identity overlay experiment initiated long ago by Prince Fracas. 
Lord Ralga Nahalas you have never truly met. I myself never met him until I heard the prince utter your Kirathi title, the heart of the tiger. This was the trigger that awakened my true personality hidden for so many years. Once awakened by the words of my prince, I had no choice but to perform his bidding. Kirathi do not surrender, nor do we betray. And yet, in being true to my kind, I have betrayed you. For I have watched you, Colonel, and know you are an honorable warrior. If we meet again, we will have no choice but to perform our duties with honor. We are here to bid farewell to Lieutenant Laurel Buckley. I didn't know Cobra well. Doubt that any of us did. But I do know that she was haunted by aspects of this war that were darker than anything most of us can imagine. She is finally free of that pain. At no time does this war seem more cruel than when it ends the life of someone as young as Lieutenant Mitchell Lopez, a man young enough to still have dreams. The Carol was a pilot who at all times flew with heart and pride. Colonel, time to extract us a scientist. Your responsibility will be to provide air cover for the Marines, who will descend down onto the planet and get Dr. Severin out. I know you hear this all the time, because I used to hear it all the time, too. But this may be the most important mission that you'll ever fly. I wish I had the reflexes I had 10 years ago, laddie. I'd be flying in your wing. It's going to take all the self-control I have not to strap myself back into the cockpit. Because if we fail here, God help humanity. See, Doc. Take it easy, boys. I've done what I came to do. We risk everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war. Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond decks a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. We'll just see about that. I'm gonna have a talk with the captain. What I tell you about trusting a cat. Hey, too bad Cobra had to die to get her point across. <laughs> temper, temper. You can't afford to lose any more wingmen. You know, for once you're right. Uh, I am. We're just gonna have to settle it out there. The next time you're on my wing, I might just rotate my turret. And hey, accidents happen. Ooh, I'm shaking. You know, I got a turret too, pal. We'll see. somewhere? No. <laughs> Cleaning this out helps me clear my head sometimes. I'm doing a little of that myself. Letting 
go of, I don't know, certain memories. Hmm. That's good to hear. I, I haven't wanted to pursue it while you were still hoping to find Angel, and I'm probably way out of line here. Um, but... But... It seems like maybe there's something between you and me. Perhaps it's that way with all the female crew members on board. <laughs> well, believe it or not, Flint, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every woman on board. Well, sir, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every man on board. But you do make exceptions? I have. Yeah. Mm. Studying the battle reports, Your Majesty. You should not concern yourself with dreary day-to-day -day account. I cannot understand this Terran foray into the Elcor system. The attempt to free but a few prisoners. If you please, Your Majesty, I may be able to shed some light. Yes, young one. The apes took but one prisoner. His skills are technical, scientific in nature. And these skills are applied to... That we did not fully explore. His range of knowledge was vast. We are winning the war, Your Majesty. And daily we move closer to invasion of the Terran home world. A vast amount is being assembled. Never before has there been such a mighty force. Never let it be forgotten. It is when the foe is near Pankris that he is most dangerous, my prince. As always, your majesty speaks coolly and wisely. Ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. HQ sent us here to Freya because they've located a jump point that leads straight to Kira. One slight problem, however, is that it's shielded. The shield generator is based on Freya, too. Here's where we see how good these Excaliburs are in taking the fight to the ground. Colonel, I want you to lead the ground assault. Destroy that generator. Good luck, Colonel. Finally, I get to show what I can do. Oh, I don't know, Chief. I've been pretty impressed from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, well, you haven't seen everything. Not by a long shot. You know, maybe we should get together and I'll show you the rest. You know, sooner or later, you and I have to let go of these ghosts. See if the parts fit anywhere else. And you think our parts might mesh? Well, you never know until you take a test run. Should I read anything into this? You're talking to me instead of your mechanic? I had to make a command decision, didn't I? Mm, but is it a decision for the moment or something more lasting? Everyone can feel it. I 
we seem to be facing more risk than ever. I think it means every moment has to count. I can't risk getting involved with someone who might be on my wing. There's too much at stake. Uh, Colonel, I've ordered Vagabond's early release. I still think what he did was wrong, but we need every good man we got. Let's get down to business, Colonel. Your old friend Paladin's been keeping busy. He sent us a little gift, prototype of Timla bomb. We're jumping into the Hyperion system where Intel's located an uninhabited and tectonically unstable world. A perfect test site for the weapon. An Excalibur's been modified for this special payload, and Colonel, you've been selected to deliver it by dropping to the surface of the planet and hitting the bullseye. Your timing, your aim have to be perfect. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy, and it's been a hell of a ride. What's this? Weeping nostalgia from the hardened card chart? <laughs> well, it's just that I've been thinking. Here on the Victory, for the first time, I feel like I put down some roots. You've been a good influence on the rest of us. You don't take yourself too seriously, and you're a damn good pilot. Well, thank you, sir. You're not so bad yourself. How about a quick hand of cards? <laughs> my, my, you're just full of surprises. Well, you gotta know evasive maneuvers in the cockpit. Hmm? Should I expect more? I'd just like to take this opportunity to say... At first, I wasn't so sure about your assignment to the victory, but I'm glad you came on board. It's been an honor and a privilege serving with you. That goes both ways, Captain. The Templar bomb still seems like a long shot, but from what I've seen, you're the one man who can do what has to be done. I just hope I can justify that faith, sir. Well, you will. Hmm? So? <sighs> well, gentlemen, our goal is simple. Termination of the Karathi homeworld via the T-bomb. 
Uh, since we can't jump the entire fleet into Kiroth, we've equipped your Excalibur with Confit's first attempt at truly impenetrable cloaking technology. The Sral device seems effective at jamming their tracking monitors, but it causes a severe drain on your ship's systems. It'll be useless after you deliver the payload. You'll need all your power just to get the hell out of there. Now, the first step is to assemble a quick strike team up to four wingmen penetrate the Kiroth system where you'll stage at a clandestine refueling depot set up by covert ops. Due to its mass sensitive guidance suite and the risk of flying with it, the T-bomb has already been secreted into the system. I want you loaded here at your second stop. You'll have just one target. Successful insertion will require the ultimate in navigational skills. As we've been told, Confed holds that destruction of the Kirath homeworld will badly cripple their war effort. And our timing may be just right. Since Intel believes much of the enemy fleet is being outfitted in the shipyards surrounding their homeworld. Colonel, if all goes well, you will not return to the victory until you've succeeded with the entire operation. This is my only briefing then, sir? No oh, comrade of yours will be taking over. Hello again, Letty. I know Captain Eisner's given you a thorough briefing, but you'll find a few more messages from yours truly on the other side of the jump point. I may not be flying in your wing like times past, but I'm still with you. You can count on that. Colonel. Good luck. Thank you, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, Flint, Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. Told you you'd be seeing this old face again. By now the T-bomb loadout is complete. You're gonna have to lay it in there sweet and easy. As this tape plays, the coordinates are being downloaded to you. It's in your hands now, son. Send them all to hell.
What would you like to do first? I want to take a walk along the seashore. I want to feel the sand between my toes and never see another bulkhead. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. 